Dear students, please note down. These notes are available in the description of video. Please download your notes. In today's lecture, we will discuss Golgi complex, Golgi apparatus, Golgi body, Dalton apparatus, Dictyosomes, Apparatoraticular, Golgi som, Idiosom, Lipochondria, Trophospongia. Note down. In today's lecture, we will discuss Golgi complex, Golgi apparatus. Before this topic, we have already discussed in this chapter of cell biology, mitochondria, a double membrane cell organelle, nucleus, a double membrane cell organelle, plastids, chloroplast, double membrane cell organelle. But the organelles which are unit membrane bound are endoplasmic reticulum, ER, lysosomes as well as this Golgi apparatus. It is a unit membrane bound cell organelle. This Golgi apparatus, it was first observed by George in 1867. But this term Golgi apparatus, it is named after Italian scientist Camillo Golgi and that Camilo Golgi, in 1898, he described it as a system of network, a reticular system. That's why it is named Apreto Reticular. Apreto Reticular. A network like structure, a reticular system is there. And this reticular system was recognized by. Italian scientist Camillo Golgi in 1898. So it is named Golgi apparatus. This term Dictyosome. It was given by Parner in 1958. As this Golgi apparatus in case of plant cells, it appears as separate units in smaller units, independent units. And these units were named Dictyosome. In not down in case of plant cells, this Golgi apparatus, it is named as Dictyosome. And this term Dictyosome was coined by Parner in 1958. But it's ultra structure, electron microscopic structure. And that electron microscopic structure was given by Dalton et al. in 1954. That's why it is named Dalton apparatus. Not down. Competitive exam students. First of all, it was observed by George in 1867. But it is named after Italian scientist Camillo Golgi. He described it as a reticular system, a network-like system. That's why it is named Apreto Reticular or it is Golgi apparatus. And it's electron microscopic structure. That structure was given by Dalton et al. in 1954. So it is named Dalton apparatus. And in case of plant cells, this Golgi body, this apparatus appears as smaller independent units. And these smaller units in case of plant cells named Dictyosomes. And this term Dictyosome was given by Partner in 1958. Why? This term, lipochondrion, a network of, thread-like network of, which is membranous system, and the membrane is phospholipid membranes. So it is lipochondrion, and this term was given by Baker. Why? This term, trophospongium, and this term, trophospongium, it was given by Home Gray. He named it a network of canaliculi, like canal system in case of sponges. That's why it is named trophospongium, a network of canals. And these canals through which flow of nutrients takes place. So it is named trophospongium, like sponges, canal system. The channels are there, the canals are there, the network is there. 
ट्रोफोस्पोजियम दैट वॉज गिवन बाई हॉम क्रेगे बट दिस टर्म डिक्टिओसम नॉट डाउन वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट डिक्टिओसम दिस गॉल की ऑपरेटर इट इज इन केस ऑफ प्लांट्स एज नेम्ड एज डिक्टिओसम कॉमनली इन प्लांट सेल्स टेन टू ट्वेंटी डिक्टिओसम आर प्रेजेंट जनरली टेन टू ट्वेंटी डिक्टिओसम बट इन केस ऑफ मॉर एक्टिव सेल्स द सेल्स विच आर मोर सीक्रेट इन नेचर लाइक लीवर सेल्स पैनक्रेटिक सेल्स गॉबलेट सेल्स म्यूकस सेल्स इंटेस्टाइनल सेल्स नारो सेल्स विच आर मॉर एक्टिव मोर सीक्रेट इन नेचर देर नंबर increases up to 50 in case of plants cells about 10 to 20 dictyosomes smaller independent units are there dictyosomes their shape very important topic very important find out down the shape of golgi apparatus that varies not only in different cells but also in the same cells because the shape of golgi apparatus depends upon the functional state so this golgi apparatus is leomorphic not on each and every point due to change in their shape they change their form they may be fibrillar they may be tubular they may be vesical spherical like discoidal plate like fibrillar which depends upon their functional state so they change their shape that's why this cell organelle golgi apparatus it is leomorphic no doubt their number number of golgi apparatus in a cell as well as size it means the shape varies the number changes as well as the size of golgi apparatus changes with the functional state of a cell their number increases when a cell becomes more active the number also increases it means in case of liver cells in case of plant cells 10 to 20 dictyosomes but in case of more active cells like liver cell pancreatic cell their number increases up to 50 this is an ultra structure of golgi apparatus that was given by dalton et al in 1954 this ultra structure of golgi apparatus shows four components these fine flattened sac like structures are cistern saccules fine tubular network is these are tubules and these small spherical vesicles are named vesicles secretory vesicles and these large sized spherical bodies are named golgi and vacuoles lysosomes means ultra structure of golgi apparatus that shows four components cisterna tubules secretory vesicles and these golgi and vacuoles or lysosomes this entire golgi apparatus that is surrounded by organelle free cytoplasm at that cytoplasm in that area in which this golgi apparatus is found that is named john of exclusion that is ground substance ground substance of golgi apparatus and in this ultra structure its first component these are cisterna these are flattened sac like structures or these are parallel membranes commonly called corn saccules these are curved structures bounded by unit membranes and inside each cisterna space is there that is intracisternal space or lumen cavity is there 
and that cavity that space is about 60 to 90 angstrom in this lumen cavity matrix ground substance of golgi apparatus is present these cisterna are stacked one above another and their number is 4 to 8 per golgi apparatus not down each and every point these cisterna which are membranous these are flattened cowed sac like structures these are named saccules and inside each cisterna a cavity lumen space is there which is about 60 to 90 angstrom in that lumen cavity matrix is there ground substance is there the adjacent distance between two cisterna that is about 100 to 300 angstrom it is intercisternal space but in case of fungi Generally, their number is 4 to 8 per Golgi apparatus. The number of cisterna that is 4 to 8. But in case of fungi, in case of fungal cells, only one cisterna per dictyosome. It means in case of fungi, the Golgi apparatus is unicisternal. Only one cisterna is there. But in case of plant cells, other cells, liver cells, pancreatic cells, mucus, goblet, cigarette, now cells, the cisterna number is generally 4 to 8. So these are polis cisternic. And in case of fungi, these are unicisternal. From the terminal parts of these cisterna, a network of fine tubules develops it constitutes second part of second component of golgi apparatus the tubules it means these tubules produce a network like structure and the ends of these tubules produce small spherical rounded structures these are secretory vesicles and these vesicles may be smooth when their outer surface is smooth and when their surface is coated, then it becomes rough. So, these vesicles are of two types, smooth without any coating and the rough having a coating. The terminal parts of these cisterna become enlarged and they produce these large spherical bodies. These are Golgian vacuoles lysosomes. These Golgian vacuoles lysosomes having acid hydrolase enzymes and these are bounded by unit membrane these vacuoles represent primary lysosomes not down this entire structure golgi apparatus it is derived it is formed by these transitional vesicles endoplasmic reticulum vesicles it means endoplasmic reticulum produce small spherical vesicles and these vesicles fuse to give rise this Golgi apparatus and this Golgi apparatus give rise lysosomes no doubt it means there is a connection of endoplasmic reticulum that produce these transitional vesicles and these vesicles give rise this Golgi apparatus and Golgi apparatus gives rise small unit membrane bound organelles these are Golgian vacuoles or lysosomes primary lysosomes which are filled with acid hydrolase enzyme so these are gymogenic vesicles this is as these cisterna upper surface which is convex and this lower surface which is concave because these cisterna are curved structures which run parallel to each other and this upper surface in which transitional vesicles of endoplasmic reticulum are present it means this is a forming phase not down and this curved lower side it is maturing phase 
is Golgi operators having two phase? One is forming phase. It is cis phase. Competitive exam students at this lower which is concave side. This one is maturing trans phase. Cis phase it is forming and this maturing it is trans phase. This is all about Golgi operators. Dictyosomes. In case of plant cells these are smaller units. Term given by Perner. These are dictyosomes. But in case of more secretory cells, more active cells, liver cell, pancreas cell, their number is increases up to 50. The size also, the size also changes. In functional, in more active cells, the size becomes a last, but their size decreases. These are smaller in non-secretory, non-functional, less active cells like sarcoplasmic reticulum like muscle fiber cells which are not more secretory. Dear students, this is all about Golgi apparatus. In next lecture, we will discuss biogenesis of organelles as well as functions of Golgi apparatus.